All right. This is a very special episode. A very special review. That's right, folks. I'm continuing my trend of reviewing video games. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to actually do a trilogy of video games. I welcome you to Universal Month. And what good time that would be for this lovely month by taking a look at a game made by, published by Universal Interactive. I'm talking about the Crash Bandicoot Trilogy. We're taking a look at the Crash Bandicoot Trilogy. Crash 1 all the way to Crash War. But for now, let's go ahead and get started with the original Crash Bandicoot. Yes, we are tackling the Crash Bandicoot Trilogy. And I got to be honest with the first Crash, I'm not a fan of the original Crash. I'm sorry, I just, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the first one. Uh, but I will easily say this, the sequels get so much better. And honestly, I didn't get much far into this game because I found the gameplay way too tedious. I'm just not a fan of this first game. So yeah. So, enough rambling, let's go ahead and head to the TV like we did before and take a look at some gameplay footage. Alright, we're at the main menu of Crash Bandicoot. So basically, yeah, we're taking a look at Crash Bandicoot. Uh, it's kind of cool that I'm doing video games for this month because I always wanted to do video games. So we have start, low, password, options. Let's check the options and see if there's a difficulty setting. Mono. There's mono and stereo, but I don't really know the difference. We'll set on stereo. Let me see if I got a load file there. Yep, let me see if I got a load file. I'm checking my memory cards. Okay, I don't have I don't have a load file here. There's some of my save files, but... Okay. Let me go ahead and pull it out. Okay, hang on, we'll, we'll get to the gameplay, though. If I don't, I'll just start a new game. Okay. Let's load. Do I have load file? Load. Loads here. Okay, escape. I'm just checking the little croc. Ah, uh, yeah, crash. So, I'm 22%. Let's load crash. Let's see if this is the right one. Yep, this is my load file. So, I'll show you a couple levels in the game. I'm going to be honest and tell you the truth, guys. I'm not a fan of the first crash. Let's go to the early levels anyways. I... I... I do like the sequels, we'll get to them a little bit later, but yeah. They're definitely revolutionary for 3D platformers, but I just can't get over that the jumping isn't great. I know a lot of people like the first Crash, but I'm actually not one of those people that like the first. I actually really prefer the sequels. But like I said, we'll, we'll get to the sequels later on through the month. If you collect three of those uh, Uka Ukas, you'll basically get an extra guy. Collecting basically, not extra guy, but you'll get... Collecting three of them will basically make Crash invisible. Jump on him. Not him, but jump on the box. Oh, my God. 
like that. And just run. You'll stay invisible for a good couple of seconds. I think for 15 seconds or whatever amount of seconds. Like I said though. And that's level one. Like I said, it gets easy to downright frustrating at times. Great, but you're missing 10 bu 12 boxes. Okay. Basically, you complete level, but it's telling you that you missed 12 boxes. If you collect them, if you collect all the boxes in level, you'll get a gem. Basically, the, the later games tell you more about it. So yeah, we'll go to another level. Let's go ahead and Papu Papu is the boss, so. Uh, let's do the Great Gate. I'm going to just show you a couple levels. I haven't finished this. I haven't beat the game because I got 22%. I just found the game honestly super repetitive. That wouldn't be until its sequel, Crash 2, will come out. Which we'll, we'll talk about, like I said, we're just talking about the first Crash. We're basing the first Crash on itself. The game has a lot, not really a lot of jumping, but yeah, see what I mean by? Yeah. And you got invisibility again. Come on to that. And just basically... Oh, I hate this part. Grab that. If you grab that box, checkpoint box. Come on him again. Drop down there. Oh. Alright, great. I just lost. See what I mean Yeah. Oh, I hate this part. Uh, you gotta jump on that, then you gotta... We'll get to a boss stage. I'm trying to talk while I'm reviewing this, but it's just... Yeah. Yeah, so you kind of get the idea of that stage. If you already beat the level, just hit start and select, and it'll take you back to the map. So basically, the map in this is sort of in the vein of Donkey Kong Country. I guess they were trying to do a Donkey Kong Country. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry if I cough a little bit, I do apologize, but... The map system I forgot is sort of the, is sort of like Donkey Kong Country. I like how it's called Rolling Stones. Yeah, so Rolling Stones. Yeah, named after the bit. Let's take a look at Rolling Stones. And just showing you a couple levels, and then I'll show you the boss level and I'll get back to my final thoughts with the first one. Yeah. If you, I don't know what, oh yeah. If you collect three of those, whatever that guy, I got smashed, but yeah. Collecting three of those will unlock the bonus stage. The bonus stage is where you can save or get a password. Like I said again, I don't really like the first crash. I just honestly think that the game just has clunky controls. It can get super repetitive. 
But it was an early PlayStation game, so I'll give the developers credit. And you can't slide in this. So, slide will not come until Crash 2. Again, we'll get to we'll get to Crash 2. Jump. Got that checkpoint. Good thing I got the checkpoint. If you're good at this game, you could probably speed run this and get squashed. Yeah. So I don't lose a lot of guys. We'll get to the boss the boss stage. We'll play until I lose all my guys, pretty much. So I can show you what happens if you lose all of your guys. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's the Rolling Stones. We'll get to the next one. We're gonna get we're gonna play we're gonna play the couple of bosses and then I'll close up close up this video and get back and then get to my final thoughts. You know what what's uh Hogwild's pretty cool stage. They do add a couple things where you can ride you can ride on uh I wanna say they're boars. Yeah. It's kind of a fun stage right here. Collect that, collect the extra guy. Grab the checkpoint. Grab that checkpoint. Yeah, if you get hit like that, you fall off. Which I kind of do like. Jump over that. Now you don't want to jump over certain things. Like that. Yeah, I was even close to the end of that level and I got pwned. That's okay. We'll do this level, then we'll go to a couple of the bosses. Should go over that. Like that. And you beat the level. Just like that. And take you back to the map. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go to a couple of the boss stage. Let's go to the boss stage. Oops. Papu Papu. Let's say Papu Papu is one of the boss. This is the first boss in the game. He's actually pretty easy. All you just have to do is just watch his moves. The bosses have have a health bar. They'll go slow. Okay, jump over him, not attack him. It's okay. He basically takes three hits. He's actually the easiest of all. Yeah, he's okay. I don't know how I, I don't know how I got a hit. I jumped on him, but for some reason, nah, the game said, nah, you're going to take a hit. Luckily, I had a Guka mask. That's Papu Papu. Let's close out Ripto's, let's close out with the next mid-boss. 
rip it, rip and then we'll all call that night. Ripperoo. Let's 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 battle Ripperoo. Who will come back as the first boss in the second crash? So just to let you know. Here, you gotta just time. Yeah, not gonna be here. He's like the hardest. Yeah, and I took a hit. Whatever. I'll play all three of these guys and then. Yeah, I like that. You gotta like just watch and time it pretty much. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. So you gotta get the idea though. I'm gonna try to play him a couple times. Yeah. Like I said, he takes about three hits. Huh. Yeah, it'll trick you a little bit. Yeah, you probably lose to him, but that's okay. One more chance, one more try, and then after that, I'm gonna close out. That's it. That's it. And that's that's uh. They also give you a password though, so you can always come back to that spot. You can always use a password system. And the series would stop using the password system later on. There's a password if you guys want to give it a try. But yeah, I'm come back with my final thoughts and come back with the final verdict. And I'll tell you what I think. See you there. I'm sorry, folks. As I said before in my review, I just don't like the first Crash Bandicoot. During the gameplay, I was talking about how I just don't like it. I didn't get much far into this game, so honestly... I don't really want to tell Final Verdict until I until I get to finishing or reviewing the rest of the, the rest of the games. The biggest problem is is that this game is surpassed by its sequels. I just I just don't really see the appeal of the first crash. I don't even see going back and playing the first one. But if you do want to check the game out for yourself, it's not that expensive though. So normally as I said before should you should you play the first crash? My answer is no. Don't play the first crash. The sequels do it a lot better. Just don't play the first crash. But we'll get to talking about the sequels later on in the month. So we'll get to talking about those later on down the road. So that's my review of the first crash. And I'll see you next time for the sequels. Take care, guys. See ya.